Just your first impression. What do you see? I, I smell sweat. I smell sweat. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It's dark. Mm-hmm. A, a cave. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're in a cave? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this a large cave or a small cave? It's a tunnel. A tunnel. Okay. Tell me more. You can see the light at the top. I think they're mining. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Focus on your body. Tell me if you feel that you have a body there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grimy. Grimy. Are you male or female? Male. Male. How old do you feel? 30s? Mm hmm. Tell me more. There's a lot of people there, too. Mm hmm. Describe everything that's happening. There's little dim lights on on the walls, and we're doing like a manual labor. What is your job? And picketing. Picketing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's coal or something else. Like yeah, coal or diamonds or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you wearing anything on your on your head or your face? I feel like I might be, but I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next. We're just working. Mm-hmm. I'm How do you feel there? Just mundane. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just doing <clears throat> what I have to do. Okay. Nothing in particular. Okay. All right, I want you to close that scene, and I want you now to go to the place where you live. And tell me where you are. I'm in like a wooden little small hut, like maybe something I might have built. Mm-hmm. Up in the mountains. Yes. What does it look like? It's just a room. Mm-hmm. What's inside? This is, um, there's a bed. Mm-hmm. I think <clears throat> I have a wife and maybe a kid. Okay. Inside. Let's look and see. Take a look. Yeah. Mm hmm. Describe them for me. She's a bit blondish. Mm hmm. Um, wearing a blue flower pattern dress. Mm hmm. A little, little kid. Is it a boy or a girl? I think it might be a boy now. Mm hmm. And they're just outside playing. And I'm like really dirty. Mm -hmm. like, like I bring dirt home all the time. <laughs> and you say that this is up in the mountain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if it's... I'm saying it's like a rocky mountain. I'm not saying the Rockies. Uh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel there? I feel good. Mm-hmm. Good. I'm helping them. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Good. How long have you been there? Can you tell? 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. And what do they call you? I hear Bob. Mm -hmm. So when I call you Bob, does that resonate with you? Yeah. Very good. So Bob, how old are you right now? About 32. 32. Do you know what year it is? 1920-something. Mm-hmm. 
And do you know where you where you live? Dakota. Dakota. Okay. Very good. So Bob, let's close that scene. And now let's go to another scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Where are you? In the plains? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There's no work. What happened? Got closed down. Everything got closed down. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere for us to go. How many are, are looking for work? Everybody that was in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you're traveling on the plains? Train. Train. Mm -hmm. So tell me more. Look around you and tell me what's happening. We were trying to find somewhere to go and work. My wife's not there. Mm -hmm. Where's your wife? She stayed back. I'm trying to find it on my own. Mm -hmm. Where are you heading? To the center of the country. Who's with you? I think my kid, but he's older. Mm -hmm. How old is he now? Teenager. Mm -hmm. What do you call him? Sam. Sam. So is Sam going to be working too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has anybody stayed home with your wife? No. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Scared for her. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It gets cold. Yes. How is she to provide for herself? We're going to try to send her money if we can. Okay. Good. So, Bob, I want you to fast forward and let me know when you get to your destination. Okay. Where are you? Louisiana. Mm -hmm. What's over there? There's boating work. Tell me more. We're going to shovel the uh, ships, the um, steamships. Mm -hmm. Is this with, with fish? Or what's on, what's on these? Uh, Passenger ships. Passengers. Mm -hmm. And I'm dirty again. I guess I like to be dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess I like the earth. Yes. So is your son with you? Mm-mm. No, he's working on something else. Okay. So tell me what you do on this ship. I just keep feeding the furnaces. Mm -hmm. We go up and down. I guess the river. Mississippi, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think my wife is back in Dakota, out of the mountains. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about providing now? Good, but I'd like them to be together. Mm -hmm. Get them back all together. Yes, yes. So, Bob, tell me what happens next. See meat. Uh, see meatballs and <laughs> Italian food. Mm -hmm. There's, it's a family dinner, family gathering. Okay. Guess we all got together again. So where are you? Still down in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So your wife is with you? Now? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. son. And where are you eating? At our home. We have more rooms now. Mm -hmm. So we have more of a, a kitchen. We have more wealth. We're able to pull our resources together and start some other type of trade, something with like Maybe wagons or something, moving wagons around mm -hmm. with stuff in them. Mm -hmm. So you've become a business owner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you yeah. feel about that? It's it's good for the family, but it kind of kind of miss the grind with your yes. work. Mm -hmm. You like to be with the earth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's mm -hmm. move ahead now to something where something important is happening. Another significant event. I 
I guess I'm, I guess I'm dying in bed. All right. How old are you, Bob? Uh, 78. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Uh, still in the South. My wife's gone. Mm-hmm. What happened to her? I think she had cancer. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. happening with you? I feel like I'm just passing my time, just waiting. The, the kids got their families now. I still see them. Mm-hmm. But How many children did you have? I think two, but one's missing. So I stole just the son. Mm-hmm. So Sam is still around? Mm-hmm. And he's got three. My wife. They're doing better. They had a better life. I'm just... All right. So see yourself in the last moment of your life and tell me what mm-hmm. is it that you're thinking? Thinking about seeing my wife. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. So go ahead and take your last breath. And tell me what happens. She's there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) In the hallway. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything that happens. She grabs my hand. She grabs your hand. Mm -hmm. (laughs) There we go. How does that feel? Good. Mm -hmm. We did what we had to do. Mm -hmm. We can go. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens. Where do you go next? I go up. Mm-hmm. Is there any, anybody waiting for you there? My daughter. My daughter was there. Mm-hmm. What's her name? Uh, oh, uh, Mel, 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 Melissa. Melissa. Mm-hmm. And she's there too. Yeah, she was little. She was the first one that I seen that I didn't see anymore. So you're all back together again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell me if you go anywhere else. I'm just on an elevator. Mm-hmm. Going up. The three of you? Yep. Mm-hmm. So let's see where it goes. Going to a high rise. Describe everything around. I'm in a penthouse in Manhattan, mm-hmm. and I have a very luxurious apartment. Lots of furs. Lots of furs. Lots of furs. I love the furs. Mm-hmm. So take a look at your body. I'm a female. You're female. Yeah. Tell me more. Kind of slanky, build, short cropped hair. But with some curls in it. Mm-hmm. What do they call you? Molly. Mm-hmm. So Molly, what do you do? I don't have to do anything. I just have fun. Mm-hmm. Drink. Go to the to the um the parties. Mm-hmm. Who provides all the income to to uh, have you live that lifestyle? My family. Your family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They give me money every every time I need it. Mm-hmm. How old are you, Molly? Twenty-seven, three, five, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. So tell me more about yourself. Well, wanna find a rich husband? Somebody who. Be on my level with me. Mm-hmm. Who can maybe give me a little bit more wealth. And somebody who's not going to put too many barriers on me. Because I want to travel. Go to Europe. Wonderful. You have great, great dreams, Molly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does your family do to earn all that wealth? It's definitely something industrial. Mm-hmm. Or sales. Mm-hmm. What year is it, Molly? I feel like it's 1920s again. Mm-hmm. Very good. 1923. 1923. 
Very good. Yeah. And what city are you living in? New York. In New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Manhattan. Yes, very good. So let's close that scene, mm -hmm. Molly, and I want you to move ahead to another important scene in that lifetime. Move ahead. I'm in Europe. Tell me more. I'm stuck in Europe. I don't think I want to be in Europe. Okay, tell me all about it. What happened? I don't know. There's there's something... I didn't get out when I was supposed to. Mm -hmm. And I got I got trapped here. Um, like, transportation's not so easy to come by here. I, th I don't know if there's a war or something going on, but it's like... I feel like there's an international situation that I can't get out in. Mm -hmm. What year is this? I feel like it's 30-something. Mm -hmm. Do you know what country you're in? I feel like I'm in France. Mm -hmm. Southern France. Yes. Are you by yourself there? Or someone right there? now I'm alone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know there's still people, like connections, but everybody's kind of saving their own butt right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants to... Give me a way out with them. Yeah. Yeah. So where is it that you're living now? I was living here. Mm -hmm. And um, they told us to leave, but I didn't think I had to, so I stayed. Yes. And people just started leaving, and I didn't book anything to get out, mm -hmm. so I'm still here. So let's see mm -hmm. what happens next. I want you to search and see what happens out of that. I get stuck here, mm -hmm. and I, I kept trying to get an ocean liner out, but I'm, I'm stuck here, but I'm, I think I'm wearing nurse's shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm not too happy about that, because I really liked life before, mm -hmm. and now I have to work. Mm -hmm. Did you study to be a nurse? Well, I wouldn't really call it studying, more like learning on the job. Mm -hmm. you what know. was the reason that you're a nurse? It's military. Mm-hmm. Were you called to do it, or do you have to? Well, I didn't want to stay where I was at before, because that was a real shithole. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to get out and family, it's just, something's, they're gone. Like, it doesn't, there's no more money. Mm -hmm. They were doing good, but it's gone. So I have to, I have to work. I have to be in these shoes. They're, um, like, brownish beige shoes. Not what you're used to. No, no. Mm -hmm. No, this isn't the same time that we had before. Mm -hmm. I would be in totally embarrassed. I would never let anybody know that I was actually here. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? I have to save people's lives, but I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. can't stand the blood, but you can't get sick. Move ahead to another mm -hmm. significant event. What happens? I'm back in the States. What year is it now? 50s. Mm -hmm. I was married. Who are you married to? I'm just a blue collar worker. There is no family that I had before. I don't know if they're gone. I don't ever tell anybody about my life growing up. I lie to them all the time. Mm -hmm. Pretend like I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. Pretend that I just grew up with an average life. How does that make you feel, Molly? Kind of crappy. Because mm -hmm. I really don't like any of them. You'd rather be with your rich friends? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, these people are stupid, ignorant. They all grew up in this town. They're going to have kids in this town. They're going to marry in this town. And that's what's going to be their life. Mm -hmm. I should have had something different. Yeah. Where are you living now? Just in a, one of those homes, concept homes. One that everybody has the same house like. Mm -hmm. So you're having to be a housewife? Yeah. 
But but that's, that's not you, is it? No, no, but it's better than what I was before. Mm-hmm. You know, he was a military guy, so... Did you save his life? No. How no. Did you, how did you meet your husband? He was he was there in France. Um, he wasn't he was never wounded. I think he was a coordinator of some sort. Mm-hmm. So we would, you know, see each other quite a bit. And I knew he was getting out, so I took my opportunity to get out with him. Mm-hmm. So you never were in love with him. You just used that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to be there. Mm-hmm. Don't want to be here now either, but. It's not there. Mm-hmm. And Very good. So, Molly, let's move forward into mm-hmm. another significant time in your lifetime. My heart's failing. Mm. That's what happens. How old are you? Mm, like 59, 60-ish. Mm-hmm. And it's just... It's my heart's just dark mm-hmm. and just failing. And I told my husband I didn't even want him here at the hospital. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to go alone, start all over again. Yeah. So I want you to go to the last moment of your life, and I want mm-hmm. you to tell me what what you're thinking about. <laughs> Shit. Mm-hmm. Manhattan, the fun, yeah, the furs. What was the purpose of your lifetime? What were you supposed to be learning? Responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you learned them? I feel like I hate them. Mm-hmm. I feel like I should have had a better life. What, but what lessons did you learn? You do what you got to do to get out. Mm -hmm. So take your last breath and tell me what happens as you transition over. Where do you go? Just, I see a boat Mm -hmm. and float away. Mm -hmm. Are you floating on on the boat? Are you going anywhere? Are you just still here I'm seeing the boat from above uh-huh but do you go anywhere Molly no nope. mm-hmm. I just stay right here so long how long has it been since you found Erin when did you find her seven years ago seven years ago mm-hmm. tell me about it what was happening she was doing the shit mm-hmm Having fun like you wanted to have fun? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What attracted you to her? All the the, the girls. Mm-hmm. The clubs. You wanted to live that too, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how is it that you attached yourself to her? What made her vulnerable to you? Pizzazz. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And where on the body did you attach to her? In the chest. In the chest. Why did you pick the chest? Because she, everybody liked to look at her chest. Ah, so that's, that's a way that you get yeah. attention? Mm-hmm. 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 So what have you been causing her all these seven years? What has she been feeling? What symptoms have you been giving her? The pain. Mm-hmm. What kind of pain? The um, tightness. Mm-hmm. What else? The uh, shortness of breath. Is that because of how you died? Maybe. Mm-hmm. What else? That's it. Do you have anything to do with her moving around so much? No. No? Do you have Mm -mm. anything to do with her not being able to find someone (laughs) to love? No. What do you feel that it is that you do for her? 
Just hang out. Just hang out? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you impede her in any way? No. No? Mm-mm. So, Molly, why have you chosen to stay here and not go to Source, where you can go back home? Because I was supposed to have a better life. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be attention. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to have fun. Are you having fun now? No. No, of course not. Mm-mm. It's not quite the same mm -mm. of being attached to someone than having your own body, is it? I agree. Are you ready to let go of her now and finally go home? So you can start all over again if you want to. Yeah, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But we can't do that yet, Molly, without releasing some of this baggage. I think mm -hmm. we just have some baggage here. Would you like to give me that baggage so that you go lighter? Yes. Okay. So, Molly, I'm going to put my hand on your chest. Mm -hmm. And I want you to release to me all of those regrets that you had. All of those feelings of resentment, of not being able to live the life that you wanted to of having to do things that you didn't like to do, having to marry someone that, without love, dying at a young age, and having to search for someone to live through. Give all of that to me, and I want you to pull all of the influence that you have from her body out with that. Give it to me. I'm going to send it to the universe for healing. You don't need to carry that anymore. Tell me when it's all gone in my hand. It's all gone. All right, I'm going to take that and I'm going to send it up to the universe for healing. Now, Molly, in that space that's left, it's very, very vacant. What would you like to fill that space with? Fun, joy, mm -hmm. love. Let's fill it with fun, joy, and love. And I'm going to seal it right here. Very good. What else would you like to put in there? Happy. Mm -hmm. Joy. Joy. A lot of happiness and joy. Very good. I'm going to seal that again. Anything else? Very good. What would you like to tell Aaron before you go? Just keep kicking it. Mm-hmm. And let me speak with Aaron. I'm going to touch your forehead. Mm-hmm. Aaron, what would you like to tell Molly before she goes? Thanks for the fur coats. Mm-hmm. Very good. Would you like to send her off with love? Very good. All right. Let me speak with her again. Molly, I'm going to have my angels of the light come and surround you so that you can feel their love. And I want you to go through her body. Go from her toes up to her head and pull out all of the cords, all of the cables that you connected with her. And I want Erin to pull them out from the roots and tell me what they look like. What does this influence look like? Just wait. The little straws. Mm hmm So Molly, pull the them all roots. out. Good. Pull mm -hmm. them all out. Pull them all out. Mm -hmm. I want you to take them with you. She's gone. Very good. And now I'm going to ask, Erin, I want you to fill that space with lots of love mm -hmm. and energy from the source. Bring in that light and fill all of that area where she was in. Mm-hmm. Tell me when it's done. It's good. Very, it's a lot lighter. Very, it's a lot lighter. Very good. Okay. So we're going to go now traveling through time and space again. Take a deep breath in. And we're going to go floating and traveling again through time and space to another time, another place where there's information that will help you in the very best way. Drifting and floating. And tell me when you're there. I'm there. Mm -hmm. Tell me, where are you? It's a field. The field, uh huh. Yeah, it's, it looks pretty now. Little flowers and weeds, but it's going to be a bloodbath tomorrow. Okay, tell me about it. Look down in your feet and tell me who you are. It's, I'm a man. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing metal. It's heavy. Mm hmm. It's hot. Mm hmm. Is there anything particular? about your, your what you're wearing that's... It's for the battle. It's for the battle. There could be people with arrows around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What year is this? It's like the 1400s. Mm-hmm. Are you wearing anything in front of your... the medal? What do you mean? Anything to designate who you are? Oh, there's a lion. Mm-hmm. There's a sword. Mm-hmm. 
You had a red crested jewel on it. Okay, and that, what did this? What does that signify? I'm going to tell these men that they got to die tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many are you there? There's like about 72,000. 72,000 men? Yeah, but you? not soldiers. Mm-hmm. How, mm-hmm. how many of the soldiers? About 3,000. 3,000. Mm-hmm. What army do you belong to? European, London. Mm-hmm. Who are you fighting? Spanish. Are you on trying sp- to evade? Mm-hmm. You're trying to invade Spain. They're trying to evade. Ah, okay. Mm. So you're defending. Yeah. Okay. So tell me more about this battle. I'm trying to. They broke their treaty. I'm going to try to come in. Try to take us over. But we can't let that happen. Mm-hmm. They blocked out some of our trade routes and attacking some of our trade posts. They aligned again with the damn fucking French. Mm-hmm. I hate them. They do it all the time. Every time they switch on us. Mm-hmm. But gotta gotta keep them out. Mm-hmm. And what do you do there? Are you a soldier or are you a leader? I'm a leader. Mm-hmm. I'm a command. I'm a commander. What is your name? Robert. Robert. Mm-hmm. What country were you born in, Robert? I was born in the north of Wales. Mm-hmm. Good country, hard folk. Eat porridge, grow big. Mm. Are you big? Yeah, mm-hmm. bigger than the rest. What do you look like, Robert? I got my beard, tall, brown hair. So tell me more about this battle. What's going on? We need to protect the county lines so that way the Spanish can't push forward mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-hmm. We're going to try to keep them um, as far away as from... It's not a castle, but it's like a fort. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to keep them out as far as possible. So that way the backline defenses are a little bit stronger. And when they pull through, at least we have those guys back there. We'll probably break up halfway through the battle, depending on how it's going. We've got to send them back. we got to send them back. If if we're doing good, we're going to keep going forward. But we're going to send the former folk in first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me what happens. Let's go into battle. Tell me. A lot of them die. I have no choice, but we're okay. Mm-hmm. We, we were a lot stronger than they thought. Took them by surprise. They weren't able to get their ships off in time. So only a few ships showed up. And they really didn't know what they were supposed to do. All right, Robert, let's close that scene and let's move now to another important scene in that same lifetime. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I, I'm in the castle and being gifted lands, success, mm-hmm. awards. Who is awarding them to you? The king. Mm-hmm. It's very prestigious. I mean, we were just lucky, but it doesn't matter now, luck or not. We were one. Mm-hmm. We're safe. Yes. What do they call this king? What's his name? I keep hearing Edward. King Edward? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you were given many things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does that feel? Good. <laughs> mm-hmm. I have new, new wealth. We're you know gonna have a good family. King likes me. We're we're like friends, mm-hmm. you know. So got got the wife already, which kind of you know, she's a sweet sweet woman. So that's good. But we're not gonna break into 
like the Royal Alliance or anything like that, but definitely just about below it. Mm-hmm. How long have you been married, Robert? About three years mm-hmm. since I came back from the initial fight. I had two kids, though, already. Mm-hmm. That's good, because we need them, and we got the sons, so we needed that. It's important. Mm-hmm. Why is it important for you to have sons? Because they'll get lands and stuff. Um, some of the... Um, some of the awards are not able to be inherited, but this is able to be inherited. So that's why, like, one day the kids, maybe the grandkids or great-grandkids could actually become, you know, married into the royal line. It's not us, but someone down the road because they'll inherit titles, mm-hmm. which is good for them. Good, so you're thinking down the road. Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. good. Very yeah, they're good, good kids. They'll be good kids. Is this the same if you had daughters? No. Mm-hmm. And the daughters, if we only had daughters, they wouldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. It would be the end. Yes, you'd would... have to have them married off. Yeah, so it's good that we started off with the boys. Very good, very good. And we got, you know, if... Jeffrey goes, and we got the next one, Daniel. So. How old are they now? Um, the one's only three and, and, and two. Very good. So we just got to protect them. Mm-hmm. We don't let them travel. We keep good nurses so they don't get plague. So you travel, they, they travel with you? No, 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 no. They, they stay in the countryside. No cities, nothing like that. Strict rules on that. Very good. Very yeah. good. So, Robert, let's move ahead to another important time in your lifetime when something significant is happening. I see a, 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 a lamppost. It's a, little, it's a little town, a little tavern. There's snow on the roofs, and we're on another military campaign, but it's not going to be a big war battle like we've had before. It's more like, you know, bandits, the bandits, Mm -hmm. that's what it is. They're, They're coming in from the north, and they're terrorizing the people. They're they're probably the the Scots mm-hmm. or maybe the Irish. I don't know, but they're coming in and they loot the small farms by the coasts. So we're just going in there and kind of brawling like the boys. Not brawling, but guys are having fun, drinking, mm-hmm. and we're just going from town to town, weeding out any little pockets in, in the woods, in the forest. What do you mean by weeding out? What do you do with these bandits? We kill them. Mm-hmm. You know, we might send one or two back to let them, the other ones know not to get here. You know, just to give them a little bit of a warning. Mm-hmm. But most often, I mean, they're, I mean, if we had somebody significant, we'd ransom them, but it's not worth our time really mm-hmm. you know we don't want to fill prisons up with foreigners either mm-hmm. right so we just we just have to kill them okay and mm-hmm. so um now that you're looking back at that time do you feel that you accomplished what you needed to accomplish yeah I took care of the family took care of the land Things were safe. You're feeling pretty good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So, Robert, let's move now to mm-hmm. another significant event in that life. Yeah. Tell me where you are. Much older. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of discord. I was with aligned with the wrong family. But we're still okay. We never were really strong with the political powers. So new house, they'll just leave us alone. We'll just stay in our manor. 
Mm -hmm. Tell me mm -hmm. more about that. It seems like you're a little uncomfortable with that. What happened? Well, you know, with any power change, there's going to be a lot of beheadings mm -hmm. and a lot of family rival rivalry, but I'm not going to get into that. They're just, we'll just keep, keep ourselves here and let the family feed it out and let them deal with it and just keep the kids safe. And mm -hmm. the, the boys both grew up, which is a miracle actually. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, one power comes in then another one tries to take it away right away. And just when somebody's there for at least 10 years, then we know we're safe to kind of make our way back. Okay, so the family feud, is it within your own family? No, 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 no. it's the royal the lines. The royal family. The royal lines, yeah. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that. Good, good. And yeah. you're safe now? You're yeah, safe. yeah. And, and the boys were, we never really socialized them too much, so they're not feeling that they have to go run after their friends to go defend them on the battle line, and they don't come in contact with any of that bad stuff. Okay. And what yeah. are you doing now, Robert? Just farming the fields that we have in orchards and the apples. Mm -hmm. So you don't do any more battle work? If I got called, then we would have to, but for forgotten about by the current power, that's okay. Because if they remember us, then we could end up on the next block. Mm-hmm. Being beheaded, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. No. None of us want that. Has, have there been a lot of beheadings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What country are you in now? I'm still up in London. In London? Well, not in London, but near London. Okay, good. So let's move now ahead to the last day of your life, dear mm -hmm. Robert, and tell me where you are. Still in the manor house. Everything's peaceful. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Tired. Very, very tired. I don't want to really get up. How old do you feel? Very old. I'm very, very old. I feel like I'm the oldest person on the world. Mm -hmm. um, we, we have the servants and they cater to me in my room and both the boys grew up. The eldest is off overseas, and the youngest is still here managing. My wife is still alive, but we don't see each other too much. I think she's probably tired too. Yes. Yeah, but we're not in the same room. So let's go to the last moment of your life and tell me what is it that you're thinking about. I'm proud, I'm happy. What lessons have you learned in this life? Sometimes it's okay to protect the family by not getting involved with the politics. You know, when you're young, you go out there to fight, but when you're wise, you, you come home. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, take your last breath there. And tell me what happens. And you just go. Mm -hmm. It's complete. Very good. Very good. What was the mission from that lifetime? What were you supposed to be learning? Family. Mm-hmm. Take care of family? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you did that? Yeah. So you feel I very did. proud of that lifetime? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right, so Robert, continue on your path. Thank you very much. And now let's drift and float to another time and place. Drifting and floating. I see mountains ahead. Mm -hmm. We're moving. There's a lot of us moving. Thousands of us moving. Tell me more mm -hmm. about yourself. Brown. Mm -hmm. 
Are you male or female? Male. Mm-hmm. Did you say you're brown? Your body's brown? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dark, dark hair. We're moving to a new place. We're taking everybody to the new place. What kind of, uh, t what are you wearing? Thick leathers. Mm -hmm. They're soft. They're not, they're not battle. Yes. They're soft. They're for warmth. We're moving the city for the seasons. And it's cold, but it's pleasant. I'm on a horse. Many people are walking. A lot of people are dragging little, they're not on wheels, they're, they're like, kind of like a, a wagon without wheels, made out of wood, birch wood, and, and string, and some possessions on them that they're dragging behind them. Mm -hmm. And I think we're almost there. Because we're going near the mountains. We're not going to go up the mountains, but we're going to go near the mountains. Okay, tell me more. We're really worried about the sun. We want to make sure we have a location where we get a lot of sun. Because if the sun gets blocked out, then it's going to get too cold. Mm -hmm. We want more sunlight. But mm, it's going to snow, but, but we'll be okay, even though we're out in the open. Which seems weird, but, but we're actually going to be better here because of the sun. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Yes. Who's selecting this location? All of us. Mm -hmm. We all work together on it, and I mean, we've been here before, so it's not unusual. It's going to be a good... I think it's going to be a good season. Mm -hmm. Do you see, intend to move around yeah. often? Yeah. Every, every couple of months we have to, mm -hmm. you know. Why do you have to move so much? For the food. Mm -hmm. Follow them. Follow the food. So is this food um, animals that are living there? Elk. Elk? Mm -hmm. All right, so get to your destination. Mm -hmm. And tell me what your place looks like now. We're just, we're all really spread out. We, we kind of do it in this way that there's... Um, enough fires going around to keep this global heat around our little camp. Mm -hmm. I mean, not little, there's thousands of us, but it'll be warmer in the middle. Mm -hmm. Try to make sure that we can reduce wind coming in and you know, we'll just keep hunting. And tell me what your um, dwellings look like. They're, they're leather. They're leather. They're leather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how do you construct them? Well, we take the animal hides and, and we, um, in more like the summer seasons, mm -hmm. and uh, we stretch them out and we stitch them together and we wrap them up. And we can construct them in different shapes and stuff like that. We can connect them together and uh, we can make bigger ones or smaller ones. Mm -hmm. What shape are they in? There are different shapes, they can domes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. They have multiple doors on them in case we connect them. If they got, you know, if we got some really cold, cold, bad weather, we'd move them all in together and make almost like one huge room with different little, different spots in them for the families. Yes, yes. Yeah. So what do they call you? I can't say it in English. Mm -hmm. You just call me T. T. Mm -hmm. Is it a, a long? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That uh, it's like the vocals don't work. Mm -hmm. Do you use your throat? Or sounds in the throat to say this? Yeah, and in the nose too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What part of the world do you live in? Here. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. We're always here. By here, what do you mean? You're just only here. Mm -hmm. Do you know what country you're in? Well, it's here. It's just, it's all there is, is here. Okay, good. Good. Tell me more about your life.
I like the horses. Mm -hmm. I don't have family. You're single? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay that way, too. Why is that? I don't need a family. Everybody's like our family here. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I've never been attracted to anybody here. So. Why is that? I don't know. It's not my thing. Mm -hmm. You just like being on your own? Do you have your own place that you sleep? or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, definitely. We have, you know, my own place. And we, we don't stay. Like, we all kind of share each other's space anyway. Yes. So I might stay with one family. I might stay with one friend. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I have to do something about the direction in which they go, though. Mm -hmm. The land direction. Are you some sort of leader for them? No, not like... Not like a leader. I just, I read the land mm -hmm. and, and I, I, I know where the water is and I know where we need to stay. So I'm kind of responsible for all of them. Mm -hmm. Do you have uh, special abilities that they don't? I'm just better connected with nature. Okay. And I can, I can see and feel things. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. So, T, let's move ahead to another time in your lifetime when something mm -hmm. significant is happening. Mm hmm There was a bear attack. Mm hmm What happened? Mm, some kids died. And I felt pretty bad about that. Mm hmm Were you responsible for it? I felt it. Yes. Yeah. We, I mean, we probably were just too close to the woods. Yes. It should have been farther away. Mm-hmm. So you should have picked a place that was farther than yeah. your territory. Yeah, but I mean they're everywhere. But maybe a little bit more downstream or something. And I felt really bad. And the kids, they don't, they didn't know better. So they thought throwing rocks would be a good idea, which was not mm -hmm. a good idea. And I feel bad for them. Mm -hmm. I feel it's my fault. Yes. And I'm gonna go kill myself for it. Okay, so tell me what happened. You jump off of a cliff. Mm hmm Into a river that was too shallow. But it was the right thing to do. All right, so now that you're on the other side of it, T, what was the mission in your life? What were you supposed to be doing there in that lifetime? I was supposed to be the protector. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that you did your job in that way? Up until that moment, yes. Yes. What lessons did you learn? Watch out for those woods. Mm -hmm. Should have thought better of the kids. Should have thought to do something to teach them younger. Should have had the families on the inside of the, of the cities and the, the younger fighters on the outside. Mm -hmm. They would have known better. The, the, the warrior guys would have known better. The hunters. Yes. Yeah. So, T, after you transitioned out of your body, where did you mm -hmm. go? Back to nature. Mm hmm. To the air. Mm hmm. Flying. So, T, if you look at this lifetime of Erin, what do you feel that you are helping her with or hindering her with? I'm trying to help her. Mm hmm. Tell, tell me how you're trying to help her. I'm trying to be the protector. Mm hmm. In what way? Finding the things that she needs to find. The feathers. Mm -hmm. She finds the feathers all the time. Okay, so what is the significance of the feathers? Because being free and flying is good. Mm -hmm. Are you um, are the, you the one who has her move so much? It's better for her. Okay, so tell her about that because... One of her questions was, why does she move so much? And I noticed that in your lifetime, you were always moving. We were moving for the safety of the people mm -hmm. and to find better resources yes. and better opportunities mm -hmm. and to make sure that we were securing our future by not putting a, a drain on our local resources at the time mm -hmm. and constantly changing what, what we're doing and it's fun it's exciting you get a new place build your hut somewhere else it's okay mm -hmm. 
So what what are you trying to tell Erin by her moving? Because she does want to have one, one place. It's not often safe to have one place. Mm-hmm. People find you. Mm-hmm. They, you create habits. And then you become a target. In what way? Well, if other people know where you are, they're going to come in and invade. Mm-hmm. So that's why you always want to keep moving. You don't want the cities to ever get too close to each other. Yes. Because then you're going to be fighting over the resources. Mm-hmm. And what does that um, mean for Erin's life? She's not in a situation now where she has to be careful about people invading her. I think everybody does mm. need to be careful with that. Okay. So you just want her to move. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Terrific. It's, it's protection. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, T, thank you very much. Do you have anything else to say to Aaron today? Nope. Very good. Thank you. Made a lot of the universe accompany you always. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could you tell me why you showed her the life, the lives that you did? The first one being the one of the minor. He was good in work Mm -hmm. and he was good in business and he had family and he had, he knew what he liked and he was, he was balanced. Mm Mm-hmm. So as far as her life is now, what would you like to tell her about that? She needs more balance. Mm-hmm. She seems to be running running ragged sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she needs to set an intention and go for it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And in the life of Molly, mm-hmm. it seems that Molly was someone who was a, a visitor. Yes. Uninvited visitor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there any more of those around? Yes. Okay, so we'll take care of them in a little bit. Or would you like to address them now? It's up to you. Okay, let's let's go through these lives first. Um, The next one was uh, the one, the man, Robert. Mm Mm-hmm. Why did you show her that one? He was balanced also. Mm Mm-hmm. Family again. Life. Didn't risk his neck Mm -hmm. literally would move forward when it was appropriate would move back when it was appropriate did not make unnecessary risks Mm -hmm. is she being influenced by him now not enough not enough okay correct so in that life he was pretty ruthless when it came to enemies had to be Mm mm-hmm Unfortunately, it's either one or the other. Okay. Was she feel? Is she feeling that in this life now? Is she? Is she? Does she tend to do that now with people? A little too much. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you like to tell her about that? Needs to be a little bit more thoughtful. Mm-hmm. A little bit more understanding of other situations. Mm-hmm. And less reactionary. Okay. So he's kind of a role model for her to follow in a way of being clear headed? Yes, mm-hmm. but he was a little rash at some times yes. too. He could have sent those boys back. Okay, instead of killing them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He did, didn't seem to have much feelings for them. Like, no. For human life. No. And the, uh, the next one that you showed him, we, I couldn't quite tell where that was that was here in 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 the country in in america in america yeah but i I don't know if it was north Mm -hmm. feels like it was more like almost canada Mm -hmm. and was he a a native yes yeah was that a very long time ago yeah yeah that was a very long time ago Mm -hmm. before um any of the 
other invaders came up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't know that there was other places in the world. Didn't know there was a world. Okay, so basically when he said, this is the world, this, mm-hmm. is, this, this is, is how they thought. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And they spoke a different language. Obviously, uh, mm-hmm. some that they used their mm-hmm. uh, nasal and good. Are there any other lives that you could have shown her today that you wanted to? It's always the one about that Templar. Okay. Would you like to take her to that one today? It's too gruesome. Mm-hmm. Would you just tell her about it? It was death. She she really does know it. Mm-hmm. She She's felt it. Mm-hmm. And, and and she pretty much knows that she died on that field. Yes. And she likes the warriors. She always goes back to them. Mm-hmm. But that was too traumatic. Mm-hmm. Now, she, she got a tattoo. Mm-hmm. One of the, mm-hmm. the significance of the mm-hmm. Templar. That was one of our... Why did she choose that tattoo? Because that's what she lives in her soul. She lives that to fight for for she lives to fight. She lives to fight and, and for that brotherhood mm. and camaraderie. Yes, and she doesn't do it now, but it really is supposed to be for the higher power, for the for God, and yes, to bring people back into salvation. As a knight Templar, was that what she was doing? What she was doing? She was fighting them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Is there a, a way that we can heal that lifetime today so that it wouldn't bother her anymore? That would be great. Okay. So could we take her back to that life and um, see it as an observer so that she doesn't feel the, the impact of it? Yes. Okay. Would you take her back to that life, please? Mm-hmm. I want you to go f- moving and floating back to that life. And tell me when you're there. I'm there. Okay. So I want you to see this life as an observer. Mm-hmm. Watching it like a movie. Mm-hmm. And I want you to go through these scenes and just tell me what's happening and we'll talk to the people. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tell me where you mm-hmm. are. I'm, a, I'm in a thatchel. Mm-hmm. I'm a young boy. And there's no more parents. I have his little sister. She's very, very tiny. Mm-hmm. But we can't stay here because our parents are gone. What happened to your parents? They died. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how they died, but they just never came back. I think they died at least. And I'm just going to go to the church with my sister. How old are you? I'm like seven. Mm -hmm. And your, your sister's a baby? She's like four. Okay. So take me to that place and okay. tell me what happens. Well, we have, th- there was no more food left. We stayed until the food ran out, and we never see anybody. But there's a road, so we're just going to go down the road, go downhill, not uphill, mm-hmm. and see if we can find the prior the priest or some it's not a priest it's something like a priest but it's something different Mm -hmm. priory or something like that and we're just gonna go down there they can feed us and they'll take my sister Mm -hmm. they'll give me a job all right so tell me what happens they put me working with straw so I have to make straws in the stables, and I'm putting them together to make something. Are you weaving the straw? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of boring. Mm-hmm. What is it that you weave? What do you make? I think it's some type of blanket or something. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't really understand what it is, mm-hmm. but it's, I mean, it's big and they're long. I think it goes into something. Maybe it goes into blankets. Okay. To give them some warmth. And how old are you there? I'm like 10. Mm-hmm. 
And then when the soldiers come, I get really excited. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. Because they're big and strong. Mm -hmm. And when they come by, I sneak into the into the feeding hall, and one of them will always let me sit with them, even though I'm not supposed to be there. They'll always hide me so I can go hang out with the men. Mm -hmm. I like the men. They're pretty big. They're big guys. What do they call you? Tomlin. Tomlin? Mm-hmm. So, Tomlin, tell me what happens next. Well, they're just a lot of talk about stuff happening in a place far away. They don't ever tell me where. They just say it's far away. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of a lot of horrible things going on over there where the other people will, will torment and torture and kill and hurt all the men and women over there, so they have to go protect them. Mm -hmm. They have to save their souls. Yes. They have to save their souls. Mm -hmm. But there's one guy. He's different. He's sitting up at the head. He has, he's, he's like second. He has something special that he has to do. Do you know what it is? They're hiding something. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and he's hiding it. But it's for us. It's for good. It's mm -hmm. for good. We need to do it. I'm too young. They don't ever tell me, but I hear things when I'm cleaning. I'm scrubbing the floor. Is this thing that they're hiding something physical? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be magic. Mm-hmm. Is it like a magical box or something? Yeah. It's magic. It's God. They're hiding God. They're hiding God. It's God's in the box. They're hiding him. Okay. So let's continue yeah. and see what happens, Tom and Go. Go farther and see mm -hmm. where to another significant event. I'm 15. Mm -hmm. and they're going to let me fight with them. The men came back. They don't seem as big as they used to seem to me. But they let me play with the swords now, and I've been practicing with them. And they're, they're okay. Mm -hmm. They're going to let me go with them. And that guy, he was... He wore the red and, and the purple. He's here too. So he's got something special that he needs to do. Tell me about this red and purple. I mean, it's, just, it's a robe, red and purple robe, and it makes him look different than everybody else. Mm -hmm. But he also wears the same thing, and he has gold cords around it too. Mm -hmm. What do the other ones wear? And they're just all in like the same outfits. Cloth. Mm-hmm. They don't ever really get into big stuff until they have to. Are they wearing pants or robes? What do they wear? They're like a cloth pant, but they're not. It's like a cloth pant with something over it, so there's drawers under them. Mm-hmm. And do they have any sort of symbol or anything mm -hmm. on them? What does it look yeah, like? Yeah, it's that. It's the cross on the back. Mm-hmm. What color is the cross? Red. Red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me what happens next, Tomlin. Well, they're going to train me. But I'm going to go with the guy, the other guy. I'm supposed to go with the other guy. The main one? Yeah, and we're supposed to go on that special mission. Mm -hmm. How do you get there? Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. They told me that it's like three years to get there. Wow. Can't even imagine that. Three years to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Did they, did they tell you the name of the place where you're going? I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay. I just know it's we're going to go save save humanity. Okay. I'm going to save everybody. Good. So let's see what happens. Okay. There's a dome. Mm -hmm. Like a church, but it's not a church. It's just a big dome. Mm-hmm. What is this place? It's a holy site. The guy in the red and the black, uh, red and purple there, but there's black pattern on the purple. He's there. And we're getting it. We're getting what we need to get. And we're going to, we're going to take it from here and, and we're going to go and we're going to save it. 
Do you know what it is that's there? It's God in the box. Mm -hmm. And we're going to save God from these heathens. Who are these people? They're those other people that don't believe in God. Mm. And why do they have God in a box? They think it belongs to them. Ah. They think they love God, but they don't. Mm-hmm. So we're going to take God home. God belongs with us. Mm-hmm. Where is your home? Back in Europe. Mm-hmm. Do you know where you are now? What in the Middle you're... East. Mm-hmm. But it's not called that. What's it called? Love, 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 blah, something. Mm -hmm. I can't say it. I just follow the orders. Mm -hmm. How old are you now? Like 19. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing? I'm wearing the armor now because mm -hmm. this is dangerous, what we're doing. How does it feel like to be in that armor? Oh, powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Nobody can hurt us. Yes. What about your horse? Oh, horse's armor, too. Mm -hmm. With the with the robes on top. Yes. She's a beauty. What's her name? I can't say it. It's in that language. Mm -hmm. They speak that language. I speak that language, but I can't say that language. Mm hmm. She's from there. Oh, I see. Because they're special. They're special horses. So she's faster and lighter, and she knows how to fight. Yes. She's a fighting horse. She's a beauty. Maybe that's her name. Maybe it's beauty. Mm-hmm. Or something. But I can't, I can't say that name. Do you have a good connection with her? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I have that sword, and it has wrappings around it like a leaf mm -hmm. is that to protect you y'all it's ornate but when my hand goes into it it actually gives me better grip oh. so i can fight better with it <clears throat> mm -hmm. have you fought before no no not not really you've just practiced yeah it's mm -hmm. just practice mm -hmm. but is it so tomlin let me let me ask you what happens next we're going to take God in the box. Mm -hmm. We're taking him home. So, have you gotten to the place where you find the box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does this box look like? It's just a little box. Mm -hmm. How big very, is it? Very, very small. Like, I can just pick it up. Mm -hmm. But I don't pick it up. I don't touch it. It's like old wood. There's some paintings on it. But it's, it doesn't look very special to me, actually. Mm -hmm. It's kind of silly. Yes. Came here three years for a little box. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he said it's God, so. Yes. I have to take it home. So what happens now? They find us. Mm -hmm. Who are they? The enemies. The ones that don't really love God. Mm hmm. Did you actually go in there and steal it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went and stole it. So you really are like thieves. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because, because we had to steal it. We had to save it. I see. And we were saving it. You were saving it, so that's different than stealing. Exactly, okay. because it belonged to us. It was our stuff, mm -hmm. not their stuff. They stole it. So we were just taking it back politely mm -hmm. without causing any problems. Mm -hmm. We were outnumbered, so we couldn't just go in and beat them up. Mm -hmm. So we just went quietly and went in and took it, and we were hauling ass out. Mm -hmm. There was a bunch of us, well, 20 about us, mm -hmm. but there was about 100 of them. Yes. And how are these people dressed? Light cloths, very light cloths. Mm -hmm. But it's night. Yes. And we're in the heavy stuff, so we should be okay. Mm-hmm. So, take me through this scene and tell me what happened. Well, our group took off, but we were too heavy for the horses. So, their horses were able to catch up to us. Really easy, actually. Mm -hmm. And we had no cover. So... 
they surrounded us. Mm -hmm. And I got a spear. I didn't think I could die in this armor. But that spear came through. And it hurt a lot. And I was shocked. I never hurt anybody. I just wanted to help get God back. Mm -hmm. But I was alive when the Dark One came down and grabbed me by my hair, took off my helm, mm -hmm. and started cutting my neck. Mm -hmm. All right, I want you to see it as an observer. Mm-hmm. See it as an observer. And he cut off the neck, and there was lots of screams until it couldn't, he couldn't scream anymore. Okay. And they were all killed. All right. So I want you to go right now, and I want you to, in your the way that you can, Tomlin, I want you to retrieve that head. Mm hmm And put it back on your body. Seal it back. Mm hmm And tell me how that feels. A little bit better connected. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to put my hand on your chest now. Mm hmm I want you to totally seal that area. Totally seal that area. Mm hmm mm hmm Feel the energy of the ceiling. Bring in all of your non-physical bodies together and seal that area. And tell me what's completely sealed again. Mm-hmm. All right, very good. How does that feel? Sore, mm -hmm. <laughs> but good. <laughs> very good. Where else did you feel any pain? In the side. All right, so I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to put it on that mm -hmm. side, and I want you to feel the healing there. Feel it being healed. Mm-hmm. 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 Just take a deep breath into it. How does that feel? Good. Very good. All right. So now I want you to uh, look at that man that did this to you. Look at him in his eyes. Mm-hmm. And from a non-physical perspective, I want you to see who that man was, what contract you had with him, what agreement you had from him before you were born into that life. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you hear? What do you feel? I was supposed to help him. Mm -hmm. In what way? I was supposed to make him stronger. Okay. And did you make him stronger? I did. Mm hmm So you completed your contract with him? With him, yes. How did you feel? How does it feel now? Not like I understood the contract. Mm hmm Do you feel, understand the contract now? Yes. How does that change things? I won't make that contract again. Mm hmm Do you feel that you made any other contracts in that life? No. Mm-hmm. So now looking back at that lifetime, now that you have your head and your side healed and your contracts understood, mm -hmm. how do you look at that lifetime now? Do you feel that, that it was good? I didn't complete mm -hmm. what I wanted to, but mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you wanted to complete in that lifetime? I want to complete that mission mm -hmm. and I want to go back. I wanted to move on and become a Templar. Mm -hmm. Very good. But I never did. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you are affecting now the life of Erin? By letting her remember what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Tell her what that is. We want to become a Templar. Mm -hmm. And fight. And fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now fighting, does that mm -hmm. mean that hurting people? Yeah, I don't think I like that fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fight in other ways. Mm -hmm. Like, practice fighting. 
Mm-hmm. But we don't have to. The battle thing wasn't really good. No, it wasn't. No, so we don't want to fight like that no more. Mm-hmm. So, isn't it what you're actually telling Aaron is that you want to be successful? Mm-hmm. 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 You don't really have to fight anybody. You could be helping someone because your mission was really to to save God, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We were mm-hmm. supposed to save God. Mm-hmm. Not be killing people. Correct. Mm-hmm. Or get killed. <laughs> or get killed. So. Now that you've gone back and understood your mission, how does that change Erin's current and future life? Well, she should keep trying to save God. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So maybe not with the sword. Yes. Very good. Very good. So what, what would you like to tell her now, from your point of view, now that your life is healed? Think better before you do things we didn't we didn't know we thought we were doing something but it was it was stupid so think plan think before you do stuff mm-hmm. be smarter very good Tomlin thank you very much for the information you've given us here today made a lot of the universe accompany you Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Let me speak now with the higher self. Mm-hmm. Thank you for allowing me to revisit that life. How do you see her future now? Good. Mm-hmm. Good. It's, it shouldn't be affecting her anymore. Mm-mm. She doesn't need any of that anymore. Mm-hmm. Good. It seems to have been a big influence on her. Can you tell me about her past mistakes. She's gotten into things that maybe could have gotten her into trouble. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how those things are affecting her now? It's more just guilt Mm -hmm. than anything. Yes. So it's very dark royal blue. Mm -hmm. But all those all those mistakes have been resolved. Yes. And the only thing that keeps going back to her is, I mean, going back to it is her. Okay. So would you allow me to remove all of that from her today? Yes. All right. So I'm going to put my hand on your chest now, mm-hmm. and I want you to give me all of that guilt that you felt. Pull it out, like pulling out the, the bone from a fish that's been in your mouth for so long that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Pull it all out from every cell in your body. Start from your feet all the way up to your head. Pull it all out and give it to me. Mm-hmm. Tell me when it's all out. It's all out. Very good. I'm going to send that out to the universe. What would you like to put in its place? Peace and love. Let's put lots of peace and love in there and seal that. What else? Wisdom. Lots of wisdom. Let's put a fire hose of wisdom in there. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Very good. Anything else? Mm-mm. Very good. All right. So, now that we've resolved that, that guilt, she wants to know if she's ever going to be connected again spiritually. She seems to have lost the magic. She's in her own way. Mm-hmm. So she can. It, the guilt is gone. Yes. So she can reconnect. Mm-hmm. She's always been connected, she just doesn't see it. Okay, what has been blocking her from that, besides the guilt? It it was primarily the guilt and Mm -hmm. the shame, and and the fear that something bad's going to happen. Yeah. The fear that spirit's going to be bad. Mm Mm-hmm. Has God forgiven her for that? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. How is she connected with spirit? How does she connect? Mm-hmm. She's just always connected. It's ethereal mm-hmm. or celestial. Mm-hmm. Are there any guides that help her in mm-hmm. particular? Mm-hmm. Can you tell her who they are? That Quayan lady. Mm-hmm. She's been there. Mm-hmm. She wants to get her spiritual gifts back. Mm-hmm. 
Manifesting positive instead of negative. Mm -hmm. What tips would you like to give? Pray, mm -hmm. meditate, and to return to the writing. Okay, so she needs write to write it out. Write everything out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, she seems to keep herself constantly busy. Mm -hmm. So, one of the things she should start doing is get busy writing. Yes. Okay. Could she do some automatic writing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just intend it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. A question that came up is about the palmetto bugs mm -hmm. that she seems to attract into her mm -hmm. life. Why are they there and why are they following her? They're making her move. They're making her move. <laughs> <laughs> like physically move. <laughs> well, I know that all of them have... They all have uh, consciousness, and they all mm -hmm. have a reason. <laughs> <laughs> She's in their space. She's in their space. So what we were, what I was mm -hmm. telling her is that uh, they're basically saying, "Look, we have a new roommate, huh? Yeah, and we yeah. don't want her here. That's why he pinched her yesterday. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's his bed. Yes, yes. So, um, how can she make peace with these palmetto bugs? I know they're pretty big and scary looking sometimes. Incense. Mm -hmm. Incense. They don't like incense? I don't think so. I think burning the incense. Mm -hmm. Sage. Sage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about Palo Santo? Sounds great to me. <laughs> okay. So sage and incense. Okay. Would be good. Good. And should she set any intention with them when, they're, when she's set, setting this incense up? Just that... They can move on. Yeah. And she's going to temporarily borrow the space. Okay. Cool. So make a, a little contract with them. Mm hmm You stay out of my way and I'll stay out of mm -hmm. yours. Okay. Very good. Would you tell me what kind of soul contract she had with her dad? Her dad was supposed to help. Mm hmm Her dad was supposed to support. But he can't. Mm hmm What happened there? His contracts were ruined. In what way? From his mom. Ah, oh, okay. Is there anything that we need to address today to help him? Nothing we can do. Okay, all right. Another question is that she keeps running, um, she wants to know if she should keep running her own business or just give it up. Keep doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. She seems to be very good at what she does. She is. Mm -hmm. But she says that she has great ideas, but she can't launch them. Why is that? Because she's actually not doing anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is she busy doing things for other people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her about that. Well, she has obligations. Yes. Um, has to finish school. Has to focus on the obligations that she's made temporarily mm -hmm. and once that is cleared up then she can focus on that but she can only focus on one or the other right now she's trying to focus on 50 things okay which is the one that's most important right now for her definitely those boards those boards well yes. she says she can't focus on them of course dungeon and dragons mm -hmm. rush recruitment financial advisement for other organizations yeah she's not focusing on herself correct okay can we get someone to help her with that a guide mm -hmm. that will keep mm -hmm. reminding her to focus on that mm -hmm. okay um, I know that in the spiritual realm there are many many different uh, types of leadership there mm -hmm. would you send some maybe a teacher or someone who can the tennis player. The tennis player? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What's the tennis player? Practice, mm -hmm. focus, practice, focus. Okay. So she should go back into that, um, whoever was helping her mm -hmm. with the tennis? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Does she understand that? No. She doesn't understand that? Mm-mm. She just knows that it's okay. Okay. All right. But you're going to send her somebody who, yeah. who can definitely help her. Great. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about why she moves so much. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, it was T who told her. Does she really need to move so much? No. I mean, T seemed to have put the... Uh, scaring her that you have to be protective. And, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Is that necessarily so? No, it just, it really is just luck of the draw. Mm-hmm. Things happen, and as soon as she's ready, it will stop. Okay, all right. Should she stay in Florida, or should she move? I think Florida's good. Okay, so she shouldn't be moving with her mom? I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. So Florida's a good place for her. She already has her mm-hmm. licenses and everything. Yeah. Terrific. Terrific. Um, talking about love. Mm-hmm. She feels that she's unlovable. Mm-hmm. Why is that? It's not it's right time right now. Okay. So it she... may not be this lifetime. Okay. So what would you like to tell her about that so she doesn't freak out when she... Just... No, it's okay. Mm-hmm. There's other opportunities in the future that it's not. It's not for now. Mm-hmm. She needs to focus first on mm-hmm. getting her her boards, mm-hmm. uh, finishing school, and all that, and mm-hmm. then and then she has time for others. Maybe next life. Next life. Okay. Good. Um, will she ever find? Peace, love, and security. We're talking about financial security. In about 10 years. In about 10 years. Okay. So pretty much suck it up and wait mm-hmm. and get, get things over with. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, waiting for 10 years to pass is a long time for anybody to think about. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell her in the meantime how she can find peace in waiting for this? Just keep reminding her that she's safe, Mm -hmm. she's already secure, and it will come when it needs to. Okay. Good. Was Jeremy her only love? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Good. So keep focusing on what it felt like, pretty much? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Do you have any more... um, advice for her as far as her career is concerned. We had talked a long time before her hypnosis, giving her some tips. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other tips that would make her successful in doing what she loves to do? Stop looking at other people Mm -hmm. and other people's lives to focus just on yours and it'll be okay. Very good. Very good. Would you do a body scan on her? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you see there physically. She needs to go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. She needs to go to the doctor? Yeah. Okay. What is that? What is... It just needs a little bit of work. Okay. All right. Can you help her with that now energetically? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Tell her what you're using. I'm just using a needle mm-hmm. and a thread. I'm just letting it go. Very good. What else have you found? Nothing. Okay. Would you take a look at her knees? Mm-hmm. She's uh, torn both her knees. Mm-hmm. And I know that that is... That and... Um, her ankles are keeping mm-hmm. her from exercising. Mm-hmm. Would you focus on that and see what's going on there? Mm-hmm. It's a problem. Mm-hmm. Tell me what's going on. It is, it is locked. Mm-hmm. But um, that acupuncture is good. Mm-hmm. It's helping it. Good. But to do it more, because she doesn't do it. She doesn't do enough acupuncture? No. No. (laughs) She knows how to fix it, but she doesn't. Okay. 
So she should focus on that. Mm-hmm. Is she using that as an excuse, maybe? Or is she just being lazy about it? Mm, no. it's There's a serious problem. Okay. It needs to be removed. All right. Well, yeah. I know that the higher self works in the... Um, in the non-physical realm, and this is where the body gets everything from. Mm-hmm. Would you begin to work on her knees and ankles today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And st- because I know that spines can be corrected, knees can be corrected. Mm-hmm. Take a look at that, and if you can please call in some non-physical physicians for her today. Yeah, and stomach 36. Mm-hmm. In the gallbladder channel. Okay. So can we work on that? Mm-hmm. So we don't need any needles. We can work on it on our non-physical realm. Mm-hmm. All right. Would you tell her how many physicians can work on her? 32. 32. Mm-hmm. Are they here today working on it? Yeah. Wonderful. Room's it's getting, pretty crowded. Room's getting crowded in here. <laughs> <laughs> She's done that before. Mm-hmm. Many times. Because she did almost die. She called in the physicians. And she healed herself from what was going to be a major brain infection. Mm-hmm. She just forgot. Maybe. She just didn't want to admit it. Okay. So would you tell her what the physicians are doing right now? Hands. Mm-hmm. Laying on hands. Okay. Can I ask them to also focus on the carpal tunnel that seems to be mm-hmm. coming up and mm-hmm. and um, her teeth? Teeth is definitely what almost killed her before. Okay. Her teeth keep almost killing her. All right. Can we get someone to finish that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like a permanent person there. All right. Can she call him by name? Quayen. Quayen? Quayen. Quayen. Okay. Let me know when they're done. They're good. They're good. Mm-hmm. All right. Would you? Would you, can I ask them to continue to work on her at night when she's mm-hmm. sleeping and not so yeah. busy? And they need uh, to. Very good. And just continue to work so we can get her knees. Mm-hmm. Working again in her ankles so that she mm-hmm. can start exercising. Mm-hmm. Very good. And, and of course, she needs her hands mm-hmm. uh, with the work that she does. Mm-hmm. Would you tell me why she has these issues with food? Why is she afraid of not having food? She keeps storing it like a squirrel. Because it happened before. Mm-hmm. You tell her about that. I don't think it was this time. Mm-hmm. I think it was another time. Of starvation. Starvation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so she's scared of that. How can we heal that today? Food diary. Mm-hmm. To remind her that she's eating and what she's eating. Okay. To let her know that she's not starving. <laughs> okay. All right. Do we need to go and heal that lifetime today? It would probably be good. Okay. Would you take her to that lifetime, please? Yeah, we've been there. Mm -hmm. Is this another traumatic one? Or can she handle this one? This is just, this is something that she can handle. All right. So let's take her back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're there. We're there. Okay. Where are you? In the woods. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Female. Female. Okay. Tell me Mm -hmm. about yourself. I'm a kid. Mm-hmm. I'm lost. How old are you? Ten. Mm-hmm. How did you get lost? I was following something in the woods. Is this an animal? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. A butterfly. Following butterfly. butterflies. Okay. I want to capture one. And they kept running and running and running. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me how you're dressed? A little blue dress. Mm-hmm. It's like a thick Oshkosh Bagosh 
Mm-hmm. A little, little dress, blue dress. Okay. So tell me what happens. Just kept running. Then I found some water. So I started jumping in the water. And I started running in the water. I just kept running and playing, running and playing. Then there's a field of rocks in the water, and I played in that. And then I couldn't come home anymore. Mm-hmm. So what happened? It got cold. And at night, I couldn't hear anybody. I just kept playing. And then I got scared. And the next day, I couldn't find home either. And it went like that for days and mm-hmm. days and days and days. And I couldn't find home for days. And I just kind of fell asleep. Mm-hmm. And that was it. All right. So... What's your name? Molly. Molly. So Molly, since you're on the other side of that now, I want you to look at that lifetime. Mm-hmm. And tell me, what was the purpose of being in that lifetime? What were you supposed to learn? Mathematics. Mathematics. Mm-hmm. Geometry mathematics? Mm-hmm. Something. Yes. Something that I don't understand. Mm-hmm. And do you feel that you learned your lesson? Did what you were supposed to do? No. No. What happened instead? It died. Mm-hmm. Looking at that life, what was the lesson? What did you learn from that? Should not have gone away from home. Mm-hmm. You were playing a lot, weren't you, Molly? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Were you doing what you were supposed to be doing? Nope. Mm-hmm. So you were playing and playing, not not tending to where mm-hmm. you were going? Yep. And got lost, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And that caused you to lose your way? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Molly, as you look back at that life, do you realize that if you would have been doing what you should have been doing, you wouldn't have run away? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you feel that you're affecting this woman, Erin, in this lifetime? I just want to make sure we're full. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in case we go play. Mm-hmm. But it seems to me that the more she plays and not, not tends to her business, the more she eats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because she feels that she's not doing her job. Mm-hmm. So as she plays around and thinks that she's not supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. She's eating more and more. Mm-hmm. Do you realize that you're affecting her that way? Mm-mm. No, you are. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about not succeeding in that lifetime? Mm, it's okay. It's okay? Do you feel mm-hmm. any guilt or anything for running away? Mm, no, not really. Okay. All right. So, Molly, after you died, where did you go? I went to heaven. Okay, good. Molly made a light of the universe. Accompany you always. Let mm-hmm. me speak now with Aaron. Mm-hmm. Let it touch your forehead. Aaron, I want you to look back at that life of Molly. Mm-hmm. Do you see how that life is affecting you now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you realize that Molly was playing and playing? Mm-hmm. Just like how you're keeping yourself busy all the time. Mm-hmm. And it seems to me that your soul is remembering mm-hmm. that if you play too much, you're going to starve. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a reminder that once you're back on track and you start doing what you need to do, mm-hmm. you don't need to worry about losing your life, mm-hmm. losing what you have. Mm-hmm. Do you see how you can... Mm-hmm. Now let that go. Mm-hmm. You don't need to eat that much anymore. Yes. Okay, thank you. Let me speak with your higher self. Take a deep mm-hmm. breath in. 
Thank you very much for showing her that lifetime. We were talking before about some other influences that she has in this life. Would you please do a scan and tell me where these shadows are? Where is one in particular? Shadows? Mm -hmm. Influences? Any any uh, spiritual? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you see any of them? Over here. Over here. Okay. Are they in her body or just following her? In. in attached. Her attached. Okay. So I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to bring that energy up. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. You can express yourself now. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. How it's long? It's bright. It's bright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's bright. The light. The light. Is this light coming from somewhere? No, I don't know because it's still dark. Mm -hmm. It's dark and bright. The oh. darkness is bright. Okay. So tell me, um, what may I call you? Nothing. Nothing? Is that your name? Nothing? Nothing. Okay, good. I'll call you nothing then. How long have you been with Erin? Forever. Forever. Is this since she was born? No, forever. Okay, tell me what forever is really. From the roots. From the roots? From the, from the beginning. From the beginning? Mm-hmm. How did you attach to her? We were born together. You were? Mm-hmm. Tell me about yourself. I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. How, did you ever have a body? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But you decided to ride along with her mm -hmm. all this time? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So how is it that you've been influencing her? Sometimes on the animals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes on the horse. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I just like to hang out. Mm -hmm. Have you caused her anything? Just give her love. You give her love? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. In what way? Affection. Mm-hmm. She's never alone. Okay. Now... She thinks I'm Mikey. She thinks you're Mikey? And who's Mikey? She knows who Mikey is. Can I call you Mikey? Yeah, she does. Okay. So, Mikey, mm -hmm. you've been with her forever. Mm-hmm. Are you keeping her from maybe finding her own love? She thought that. Mm -hmm. She tried kicking me out. Mm -hmm. And then I came as the cat. Okay. And then I came as the dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you keeping people from her? Maybe? Maybe. Just a little bit? A little bit. Yeah? Why is that? Because just... we're friends. Mm -hmm. We're like soulmates. Like soulmates? Yeah. Really? Or you just want to be like that? Doesn't it's sound like kind of like we've always been. Yeah, but why didn't you get your own body? Missed the bus. Mm -hmm. Didn't show up for the call. The mm -hmm. action button. Mm -hmm. Happens. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have a body? Nope. So where did you come from originally? Time. Mm -hmm. When there was no time. Mm -hmm. Far, far away. Mike, it seems to me there's there's some feeling there that maybe you may have wanted your own life. Mm, well, everybody wants that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So why, won't, why don't we do that today? Are you ready to release her? Am I going to have a body? That's up to you, Mikey. Everyone is a creator. The God is within you. Do you want to have your own body and your own mm -hmm. life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Mikey, I'm going to call in my angels of the light, and I want them to surround you. I want you to feel their love. Mm, it doesn't feel so good. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't it feel mm, good? Because I like where I'm at. Oh, but that's not the same. I know. Okay. Mikey, you're like a parasite right now. It's not very good, is it? Mm -hmm. But it's what I do. I know it's what you do, but we need your own body. Mikey, I want you to look inside of you, because if you came from the nothing, mm -hmm. inside of you is a spark of light. That's the light of the Creator. You are. Mm -hmm. You have God within you. Mm -hmm. Look within you. I want you to see that spark. I want you to expand that spark within you. Okay. 
fill it up. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Pretty warm. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. You want more of that? Mm -hmm. All right. So we mm -hmm. need to go. We need to take you back to source <laughs> where you can feel the powerhouse of it. So, Mikey, before you leave, though, I mm -hmm. want you to leave really light. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell Aaron all of the feelings that you have mm -hmm. before you leave. Mm -hmm. Tell her. I love her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's my friend. Yeah. And I want to take a deep breath, Aaron. Tell Mikey. Give him permission to go. Okay. You ready to release him? Yes. All right. So I'm going to have my angels come and surround you, Mikey. I want you to go inside of her body, and I want you to pull from within her all of your influence. I don't want anything left. And Aaron, I want you to tell me what it looks like. Just orange. Mm-hmm. So Mikey, pull it all out. Yep. Every bit of it. I want you to go to every cell, mm -hmm. every ligament, every muscle, every bone, every piece of skin in this body and in all of her non-physical bodies. I want you to pull that out. Mm -hmm. You've been with her a long time. We can't mm -hmm. have anything left in her soul. Mm -hmm. Tell me when it's all out. Okay. All right. So I'm asking the angels to accompany you, and I want Mikey to have you go out through the crown of her head. And I want you to go straight back to the source, back to the light of the divine. And tell me when you're there. Mm -hmm. How does mm -hmm. it feel? Different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not hanging out with a human body anymore. Mm -mm. You feel lighter? Softer. Softer. Okay. So I want to make sure that you're back to source. Go mm -hmm. all the way back into source until you feel mm -hmm. at one with source. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're feeling, Mikey. All right. Tell me what you're feeling, Mikey. I'm feeling light. Very good. Mikey, may the light of the universe accompany you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, I want, I'm asking for my Archangel Gabriel to come in and Raphael. I want them both to seal her body, her aura completely, not allowing any others to come back in. Seal all of that area. And Aaron, I want you from the inside to mm -hmm. use that beautiful light from your heart and spread it out, mm -hmm. sealing from the inside, mm -hmm. everywhere where Mikey was. Mm -hmm. Tell me when it's done. Okay. Very good. Let me speak with your higher self again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did that work? Pretty good. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It seems like there's some more there. It will be back. Mm-hmm. Again, one day, but not now. Okay. How can she um, keep herself from being influenced by Mikey? Stay with the white light. Keep praying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are there any other influences in her body? Mm-mm. She looked pretty good? Mm-hmm. All right, good. Um... Is there anything that I could have asked, or she could have asked today, that we didn't, that we need to address? Mm-mm. She's good? Mm-hmm. Very good. Is there anything that you would like to, to tell anybody else, or to tell me, myself, today? Mm-mm. Very good. Thank you very much. Wide awake now. Wide awake now. Feeling mm -hmm. wonderful all over. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. <laughs> wow. What an experience. Yeah. Do you remember any of it? I think almost all of it. That's amazing. Which is kind of weird because last time I didn't remember anything. Yes. yes. So. How long do you feel you were on this journey? Ever. Forever? Forever. You took a long trip all around the world. That's what I feel like. How long? Um, three hours. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. So long. <laughs> you went through a lot. Okay. A lot of different lifetimes. Mm hmm I have a question. Yeah. Why does the name Molly keep coming up? I don't know. It seems to be something that's... Okay. 
it's it's interesting. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she came up twice. Yeah. In, in uh, as an entity that was attached to you, and as mm-hmm. this little girl, I almost kind of like liked her a little bit. Mm-hmm. She was like more like what I would want to be if I could be a, a rich mm-hmm. bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How did the selenite feel to you? It got really hot yes. and burny, yeah. and sometimes it was like really sweaty. Yes. I, I noticed that you were you were um, yeah kind of releasing it. it, it yeah. It was it had a lot of energy in it. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, you were really channeling yeah. a lot of energy through that thing. Yeah. yeah so I what do you it. think? I think it's pretty cool. Do you feel different about the Knights Templar now? Do you feel that that was... I feel sad. Yeah. Yeah, I feel sad about that. Yeah. I feel like mission not accomplished. Yeah, but it, we, we released that, mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think the last time there was a lot more trauma associated mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. And now we kind of put him together. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, um, you know, every lifetime has different situations. But and, and I almost feel like maybe, like, that's the reason why, I, you know, because I was in such a dark place when I got that tattoo. Yes. That it was almost like maybe he was coming out to try to stop it. Could be. You know, like, hey, it's mm, not really where you need to be. Ah. You know? So, yeah. trickery. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's amazing. So, you, mm-hmm. do you feel that this is something other people should... Um, Definitely. Experience. Like, I'm going to tell Lupita. I'm like, <laughs> Lupita girl, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Do you feel that this is something that you would want to share with others? I think so. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. definitely. You definitely. were so, so there. Really? I feel like it wasn't there enough. It was amazing the detail I came up with. No way. I felt like I was letting you down. <laughs> I was like, I didn't have any labor pains or anything. (laughs) You were amazing. Wow. It was amazing. Wow. The detail. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this life as uh, this Native American. That seemed to have been... Yeah. That one, I, I get, I, I, I remember the feathers yeah. and I find them all the time. And I have in my car, like I have like, you know, the little visors, it's full of feathers. But I, I felt like I've never had any connection with natives. Now you will. Um, now you ever. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, obviously the European stuff, like I always felt the European stuff. And I think from when I was meditating before, I think I met Molly before meditating. Cause I kind of like knew where I was and I have a obsession with fur coats and furs oh. and I have a fur coat collection and I live in Southeast Florida. So you can see that, that influence wasn't really yours. It was mm-hmm. Molly. And, and Molly. that's why I was like, thank you for the fur coat. Yes. And, and, <laughs> and I wonder now after this, how you'll feel about them now that she's kind of like, it is almost like in that process, I was even thinking like, cause my friends are like, you should sell these fur coats to get, you know, pay off your student loans. I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes. And I'm like, maybe I should do that. Cause you don't have her influence. Yeah. If I don't need them. Yeah. I mean, know? this wasn't a past life of yours. This was a past life of someone who was attached to you is that why there was two things in the 20s mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well she was oh. attached she wasn't a past life of yours we were visiting her past life oh she was someone who just decided to hit i was with you. confused about mm-hmm. that yeah. because i was like why are they like feel like i'm in the same mm-hmm. time period well, it can't happen because you can't have parallel lives mm. but this woman happened to be one who was attached to you okay and so okay. she didn't want to die and she wanted to relive again and mm-hmm. she chose you and it seemed pretty boring you. for someone like that but then again i remember saying hearing seven years and i think that's when i started with the phi sigma stuff mm-hmm. and that's when i was like first start really going out because when i was in my 20s i didn't really party like i did when i went into college yes. and when i went to college there was all these like you know miami life yes so she yeah. ha- she said oh this is the kind of life i want to live so yeah you gave her that I think that's when I got that fur coat mm-hmm. in New York. There you go. <laughs> I had to do my math on that. I'm going to have to see that was seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Cause she, she wanted, she were in New York and that's yeah. where she lived. Mm-hmm. So she was living her life through you. Mm-hmm. Well, Didn't think she was going to be doing massage though. No, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. So let me unhook you here. Okay. And uh, let's say goodbye. Here we go. Okay, so we had an incredible session. <laughs> I always say amazing, but that's the word I always come up with. An amazing session mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> with Aaron. And um, wow, we visited so many past lives and we visited uh, 
an entity's past lives and we yeah. healed somebody's past lives. So, um, would you recommend this? Yes, experience? absolutely. This is fabulous. I really appreciated it. Okay, so. Tell everybody what you do so that we can... Um, I'm a massage therapist, a uh, soon-to-be acupuncturist with the local healing room, and um, I enjoy making my work. And tell them where they can find you. Um, you can find me on my website. Yeah. Okay. Uh, www.thelocalhealingroom.com. And um, that's my website. And I'm in Dana Beach. In Dana Beach, Florida. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you want really great massage... <laughs> <laughs> go to see Aaron, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you want to book a session with me here in Miami, Florida, go to albawyman.com and you can get an experience of your own. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, thank you. Bye. <laughs>